Mo pawo. Welcome back guys, it's William, uh, today simple words, uh, I'm done with the project of the electric turbo uh, for this year, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I will never stop this project, I'm so far in and it worked and for prototype it worked pretty dang good, uh, why I stopped, I stopped this year uh, for real it's because it's winter soon here, uh, snow I've not fall yet, but soon it will. Uh, so I can't really work on the car while it's snowing outside. Uh, I just don't have a point of working on the car with that much snow. So it's gonna be next year. Anyway, this winter. I have so much to tell, but at the same time, uh, it don't really matter uh, because now it works. Uh, I have some issues uh, with the map sensor. I made a dumb decision of putting it after the turbo, but it need to go in front of the turbo and not after uh, because it read airflow and not pressure. So this is my first mistake. So I will show you a little bit how uh, how my setup look like and it's pretty simple 15 minute the turbo is out of the car and the stock air box is in the car so winter summer winter summer it's super easy uh, I will change the battery this winter uh, the one I got I said it yesterday uh, and I change it because I have a lot of voltage drop. I want to go up a little bit in voltage to get a little bit less of current. Um, anyway, uh, more voltage, less current, uh, so I can go, I can create it up a little bit more. Anyway, uh, like you see in this video. The turbo work and make boost. Uh, I don't try a lot of the turbo just because the tuning was not uh, right yet. I stopped working on it because Tom, my tuner from Focus Power, uh, he wanted me to add a little bit of boost in high RPM and I can't really uh put more boost in that specific area for now uh if i want more boost in high rpm i will have more boost through all the rpm so this winter i will add a, a sensor that read the rpm so i can tell my arduino uh to have more or less boost through all the rpm so basically uh this is pretty much it i hope i so this is basically the setup uh at first it, this is the piece i made uh at first this this sensor is the map sensor. Uh, all the this this part was like here, and after this is the OEM uh, OEM part. So uh, it was a pretty simple setup. Uh, I just basically uh, remove the stock filter and replace it by the turbo and the new filter 
Uh, I think I have a photo right there. Uh, so this the setup is pretty straightforward. I thought it was a good idea, but in fact, it's not. So I try to rethink of this, and I flip the turbo upside down, and it worked perfectly. I want to show you more of this, but I don't have, I don't make a lot of tests, I don't make a lot of video, so this is pretty much the only video I have for you. Uh, so see you next year with new battery, uh, new sensor, more power, more boost, more HP, more speed, more everything you want. Uh, more money spend <laughs> no anyway i'm not i'm not that much in i have a little bit of money but luckily it worked almost first time so the money is not a problem i don't waste a lot of money just a battery i lost a little bit of money and the first esc i blew up but this one the mgm is a beast is awesome it's powerful and I have nothing else to say about it other than it's awesome. So see you next year. Bye bye.